Uh, we're here at the Trading Wheels Workshop to show you some connections that we use when we bring large groups of people together. All right, first one is just a basic handshake. We start out with handshakes or connections that are a little simpler, things that people are familiar with. So this is just a basic go in right-handed handshake, coming in and saying hello, introducing your name. And then there's the super simple one, the high five, right? And then there's the fist bump. It's an easy one. A lot of you know some variations to the fist bump, so you can add those if you like, but it's pretty basic, simple, right hand. Coming in nice and easy. You gotta make warn them not to do it too hard because the knuckles can get hurt if you do that too hard. One of my personal favorite, the fisherman's handshake. So you go in, slide your forearms together, and then the tails of the fish just slap against one another, just like that. You could also do it with two hands where you both hands come in and you can almost zipper your arms up like this and then both of the tails of the fish just slap back and forth against one another. One of my recent favorites since I lived in Texas is a rodeo handshake. It's nice and easy. You go in with a thumb grip handshake, all right? And you got to get a good stance so when you lean back a little bit, you don't fall over or pull anybody over. But you just raise your hand up, give a little woo, woo. So let's give that a try. In, lean back, woo! And here's a super fun one called the lumberjack. So what you're gonna do is, Chris, if you would put your hand up with your thumb like that, I'm gonna grab your thumb, and then you're gonna grab my other thumb, and then I'm gonna grab your remaining thumb, and then we're gonna saw log back and forth just like this. And you could even say our names lumberjack style. So Chris, Michelle, Chris, Michelle, Chris, Michelle, as if you were sawing a log. Here's one of my recent favorites that I learned from Nate Folan. It's called the Caterpillar Handshake. First, you're gonna go in like a regular right-handed handshake, and you're gonna make the motion of a caterpillar like a caterpillar's moving. So you do this three times. Caterpillar, caterpillar, caterpillar. 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 And then, of course, we know caterpillars transform into butterflies. So you hook the thumbs, and you say, butterfly, and you fly away. <laughs> so let's do that together with Michelle. Right, We're gonna walk right through all the way through the end. Here we okay. go. Caterpillar, 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 butterfly. A new one I recently learned is called the moose handshake. So Chris, if you would take your hand and put it out like that, and then, so one person makes the fist as if they were going in for a fist bump, and the other person comes in with the antlers to the moose, and just does a, kind of like a fist bump, but just off to the side with the moose antlers. So there's the moose handshake. Nice. So this is what it looks like when you meet up with a partner. There's the fist bump, and there's the moose. So in the team building world, you know, a lot of times we talk about our feelings and a lot of times feelings come from the heart. So I created a handshake one time, the heartbeat handshake. So what this one looks like is you're gonna go in as a regular handshake and then just like a heart pumps blood, and it feels kind of like a heartbeat. So it looks like this, ready Chris? And that's the heartbeat handshake. One more we wanna show you is called the dairy farmer handshake. Now this one is gonna be a little selective, so you wanna be careful at which groups you use them with, with because it uh, might push your participants out of their comfort zone just a little bit. So right handshake at the right time. Uh, the dairy farmer's handshake. One of the participants we're gonna, is gonna use uh, a crossed finger motion, pointing the thumbs down to simulate the udder of a cow. The other person's gonna be the dairy farmer. And of course we know we need to milk the udders of the cow to get the milk from the cow. So that's how the dairy farmer's handshake works. Michelle and I are gonna show you how this goes. All right, here you go. And we come in there and nice and easy, we pull down a few times and... And then you can yeah. reverse if you want to. Then Chris then can make reverse. the udders. There you go, just like that. That is the dairy farmer handshake. Okay. Have fun out there. I am Chris from FunDoing.com. This is Michelle from Training Wheels. We both have resources that you can check out and get more activities from us at our stores. Thanks for joining us. Have fun.